Hey you guys, how are you? Thank you for being here at the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to jump right into the topic and the topic is going to be the narcissist returns. So what this is, is it's when you ended the narcissistic relationship uh, and you've moved on and you've, you've just begun a new life and started to, to, to pick yourself up and, and put yourself together and move on and the narcissist has done the same, what happens here? What happens? What happens? Well, what happens is it can be many things, but one, what I'm going to discuss here is the narcissist is watching you. Whether you know it or not, now do they cross your mind? Do, they, do you cross their minds all the time? I really don't think so. However, they do have their flying monkeys and they do have um, they do have their tabs on, on what you're what you're doing. Now, I, I'm not saying that they're watching your day-to-day -day activity, no. What I am saying is that you are still in their mind and they are definitely, uh, they're gonna return eventually. It could be a text, could be an email, it could be a uh, mysterious, oh, I didn't see you there. It, it could be anything. Um, however, the narcissist, remember, they believe that you are their property and that once they sunk their, their blood-sucking vampire <laughs> teeth into you, that you are theirs forever, which is not the case. If you have willpower and you're strong, that, believe me, that's not the case. But this is more about the narcissist returning. So what will happen is they're gonna find new supply, and they, if they haven't already, and then they're gonna do the same thing to the new supply that they did to you. If the new supply is an empath, most likely they are, they'll do the same thing. But what will happen is eventually that, that uh, that story and that uh, relationship will fall apart just like yours did and what will happen there is the narcissist will go backwards they're going to go backwards and look for previous uh, relationships they had again th this could be marriage could be boyfriend girlfriend any of that stuff but they will always no matter what no matter what you think the narcissist they're just around the corner so an example would be you, you broke up the narcissistic relationship is over You've moved on. You're finally in a, in a beautiful place of indifference and peace. You're starting your new life or, or enjoying your new life. And it, this could be, like I said, it could be years. And everything's going fine. And you've put all this narcissistic abuse that you suffered in the past. Of course, you've learned and grown from it, but it's all over with. It's done. You've moved on. That's right. This is when the narcissist very well may drop you the email or, hey, I was thinking about you or... You know, I, I didn't see your car there, these kind of things. This is when you need to be strong and continue your no contact if that's what you've been doing or flat out block them again. Uh, all, all the, the, anything you can do to protect yourself is what you need to do. And as mentioned in previous videos, the reason you want to do this is very simple because what happened before in the narcissistic relationship with you and with the uh, narcissist However that ended, and I'm sure it did not end well, there's a very good chance this same thing will happen again. As a matter of fact, it will happen again. The difference is the time frame will shrink. So let's take an example. If you were in a relationship, let's say you're dating and you're seeing the narcissist for a year and it took you a couple months to get over and, and all these things, well, and then the narcissist returns because they're watching you and they need more supply and you get back together with them, which is a big mistake, by the way. Don't do this. But if that happens, then maybe your relationship, instead of it being a year, maybe it's you know six months, eight months, I don't know. But the discard will happen a lot quicker. The, de the devaluing, the discard, the, you know, love bombing, devalue, discard, um, these things all, every, the more you go back to the narcissist or the, or the more times you give the relationship a chance, the, the less uh, length of all these things uh, takes place. So, what, I'm going to close this one up because it's going to be a quick video, but the point is the narcissist, whether they're in a different country, time zone, planet, wherever they are, trust me when I say it. If you ended the relationship, however, however it ended, they, in the back of their minds, they're thinking, wow, you know what? I wonder if that source is still available. I wonder if that supply is still around. I wonder if I could, and they will test you. It's happened to me. I've been tested numerous times and I go no contact and I move on, and that's what I have done. I'm suggesting to you that don't put your guard down, don't think, hey, I've got this, you know, everything's good, I'm feeling great, 
I'm over the relationship, the narcissist didn't beat me. Uh-uh, don't be so brave. Continue the no contact, continue to work on yourself, grow and uh, better yourself. And the, the more you do that, th and the more strict you stay with yourself, and discipline is what it's the word I'm looking for. The more disciplined you are with yourself, the better off you're gonna be. And you can enjoy the rest of your life and all your time and your new relationships and friends and everything you have that, that you've created for yourself after subsequent, after the narcissistic relationship. So again, don't put your guard down, stay strong, stay true. Drop me an email, question, concern, anything. Uh, I'm here for you guys, I love you all, and uh, remember you're not alone. Thank you very much, and bye.